Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saturday, the 11th of June, 2022, of the 10th week of Ordinary Time, is the Memorial of St. Barnabas. Fear not so much, blame and flee, nothing so much, as thy vices and sins, which ought to displease thee more than the loss of anything whatsoever. Daily Prayer Set a watch, Lord, upon my tongue, that I may never speak the cruel word which is not true, or being true is not the whole truth, is merciless. For the love of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Although not one of the twelve, Barnabas has since ancient times been accorded the title Apostle for his labors alongside Paul. After he recruited Paul for the mission to Antioch, the two preached in cities in Asia Minor and Cyprus. In each town, they began their preaching in the synagogue. They were repeatedly attacked and stoned by the Jews, once so severely that Paul almost died. Yet their preaching was not in vain. Returning to Antioch, they reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Acts 14.27 Barnabas was martyred in Cyprus sometime before the year 63. The Epistle Barnabas was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verse 21. In those days a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manenian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 98 Responsorial 
The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Incline my heart, O God, to your decrees and favor me with your law. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 10 verse 7. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it's God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. He was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. Acts 11:24. Barnabas isn't exactly a household name, but he was among the most influential apostles in the early church. As we learn in today's reading, he helped build up one of the first Christian communities outside of Jerusalem in Antioch. He accompanied Paul on his first missionary journey, traveling to Cyprus and modern-day Turkey, Acts 13, 4. Then at the council in Jerusalem, he stood up for the Gentile converts, Acts 15, 12. How did he do it all? Certainly, Barnabas was a good man, as our reading tells us, but he was also filled with the Holy Spirit, Acts 11, 24. Building the kingdom of God took more than just a desire to do good and to work hard. Barnabas needed the power of the Spirit, and he needed to learn how to be led by the Spirit. How did he do that? 
the events of Acts 13 can give us some insight. Barnabas prayed. He knew his own wisdom was not enough, so along with the other elders in Antioch, Barnabas prayed and fasted and the Holy Spirit showed him how he wanted them to build the kingdom. Acts 13, 1 He listened. During the elders' prayer, the Holy Spirit made clear that Barnabas and Saul should be set apart for missionary work. Acts 13, 2 That might not have been Barnabas' plan, but he was open to what God was saying. He acted. Once he sensed this message from God, Barnabas, along with Saul, got on a boat and began a missionary journey that lasted more than a year. Acts 13, 4 We can use these three steps to learn how to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Start with prayer and ask Him to guide you throughout your day. If you have a particular concern, ask Him what to do. Next, listen. The Spirit will speak to you as you pray. Pay attention to any inspiration, especially something that you wouldn't have thought of yourself. Then let the Holy Spirit move you and act on what you have learned. Like Barnabas, you can deepen your relationship with the Holy Spirit and build the kingdom of God. Saint Barnabas, pray for us. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.